right, well, we're back again. And I did finally bite the bullet and I ordered the replacement DC to DC converter right from Honda. Tried to get it from a local dealer because they had one in stock. Their website said it was like 580 bucks if I got it from them, but then I called them up. And if I wanted to pick it up, it was going to be 880 because they were going to charge me retail. I said, what? They said, yep. I said, okay. So I ordered it from a Honda dealer in Arkansas for right at 500 shipped. And it'll be here early next week. So I guess they just didn't want to sell anything. But I did go and buy a correct battery for this because this one's got, uh, it looks like it's out of a junkyard maybe. With this yellow marking on it and this weird sticker with the date on it, like 12 of 18. So this battery, it's it's a functional battery, but it's certainly not right. It takes up too much space. It's not, it, The hold down doesn't work, so I don't like it. So we're going to take this thing off and uh, see what else we can get into here. The other thing I don't like is this terminal is super squishy loose and uh, I'm kind of hoping that's a function of this battery but uh, it's not it's not great so we're going to try to get the old battery the original battery box and hold down and a new battery in it this ought to be entertaining like there's a missing connection something that's supposed to bolt on up here but I don't really see anything a transmission dipstick yeah, doesn't look terrible some in it so that's a plus that's gonna have to be flushed because that's supposed to be done fairly frequently because this is a silly CVT but I'm sure it hasn't been done recently but uh, I was wondering what these little Piton were and they appear to stick on to the uh, tops of the screws here after you put the battery in and hook it down here. So see which way would you put this thing? This way or this way? Yeah, I'm thinking that way, but let's see if it's exactly the same the other way. Nope, nope, won't fit that way. So she goes that way. Nice. Yeah, and that lines up with the holes. Yeah, okay. So we're now going to go get the original battery and, or the new battery that fits, and we will drop it in, hopefully. And this is a little guy. Boop. Just like that. Perfect. Let's see if these go on any specific way. There we go. That's nice. Cool. Those don't look like a... Well, they kind of look like a 10. Deep socket might help. Let's see. 
I would probably bet that Damn, I don't know. Which way would this go? Like that? I guess it'll go either way. Doesn't really matter, I don't suppose. Probably goes the other way, because this looks like it should protect something. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Push those little guys on there like they're supposed to, like that. I'll go get my cleaner and give those a buff. Be right back. Have to get a new one of these. This thing's about had it. That thing's about had it. clean. Okay. Yeah, she feels pretty loose. Tightened up. She snugged up. That's good. Alright. There we go. Chew on like that. That's pretty good. Nice. There. So, I'm going to put my battery tender on that just to keep it decent for the next few days. And now at least we got the right battery in it, and that monster is out of there. That's a good battery. I'll hang on to it, keep it charged, because it's always good to have a spare to test stuff. Um, if I get bored, maybe I'll get in here and Try to figure out what's going on with this, why this is all cocked up. Looks like it maybe may have broken this piece here, but that's not a big deal. Something's not right with that, but we can worry about that later. All right, so yeah, now we got a good battery in it, and that's pretty much it for today. Not too much going on until we get that DC to DC converter and see if I wasted 500 bucks on that, because my concern is that. I'm going to put that in and it's going to fix part of the problem, but it's going to allow me to do more troubleshooting and determine that I should have just bought the $1,800 thing in the first place. So that ought to be entertaining. Hopefully I don't end up with a $500 paperweight, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll be back. Just for grins, while we're here and got nothing better to do, let's see what the air cleaner looks like. That looks like this is hard piped. I don't want to take that off. So, looks like the right way to do this is to pop this clamp. I suppose since I have the entire service manual, I could look that up, but that would be too easy. And let's see if this will even work. Oh, there it is. Woo, buddy! <laughs> yeah! Yikes. Okay then. Um, yeah. <laughs> Guess I should have bought an air cleaner. <laughs> Holy smoke. 
<sighs> Weirdly, the plenum is clean, but wow. How long has that been in there? Let's see if there's a date on it. Purolator. It's got a number, but wow. That is, uh, That was not doing the fuel economy any favors, even if the hybrid system was was running. My goodness gracious. Look at that. I, I don't think I have ever had a vehicle that has had a filter that filthy before. Wow. Okay, then. So, before we run this again, we're going to get an air filter. <laughs> Good Lord. They're doing oil changes, but they don't want it to breathe. Anyway, I suppose...